In today's video, I'll take you through the equipment that I use to shoot videos for my YouTube channel. We'll look at the equipment used for audio, for video, for lighting, something that's not very expensive. What I started with versus what I have now, which has not changed much. So if you would like to shoot your own videos, let's go ahead. Namaste and welcome to Fit and Calm. I'm Kushpinder and at Fit and Calm, we bring you authentic knowledge of yoga to keep you healthy and happy from your home. If that interests you, you can subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified every time new videos are out. So let's have a look at the equipment to use um, if you want to shoot your own yoga videos. So what I still use and I am using still is an iPhone to shoot my videos. When I'm doing a yoga video, I usually use two iPhones, one from the front angle and one from the side angle so that I can switch between both the cameras when it comes to closer shots. Otherwise, I've also used a camera as well. Um, but even when I'm traveling, a phone is much lighter and it's much easier and I find it makes good enough videos. So I usually go with my phone, that's my first choice to use and it's convenient and simple. Other than the phone, I use a tripod to set it up. Um, today I have a ring light on, if I'm shooting videos which are close by, I just use a ring light and I sit in front of a window. For yoga videos, I usually like to shoot them outdoors so that there is enough sunlight. I either like to shoot my videos in the mornings or in the evenings so that I can get a good amount of uh, soft sunlight when I'm shooting the videos. Mm, but the tripods that I use, they were from Amazon Basics. I'll put the link in the description, you can check them. And uh, I just use a mobile holder. Um, the, the ring light that I got was from UV size, pretty good. Um, I've been using it from one year. Very, very convenient, very good. And uh, I also have a lighting setup, a three-point lighting set setup. And uh, I use them when I'm shooting yoga videos indoors because if you are shooting yoga videos indoors, a ring light is not going to be sufficient. So you are going to need a little extra setup for that. And if you are interested in the lighting, you can just check that in the description below as well. Next, coming to the most important part, which is the audio. So I've, I've noticed that even if your video is not made with the best cameras, it doesn't matter, but your audio has to be crispy, clear. Um, so initially, uh, when we started at that time, road mics were not so popular. Now you can see I got a road mic for my videos, which is very, very convenient. Um, but initially what I used to do was I had a Zoom uh, H1 linked with a Boya mic. I used to use a Sari uh, holder mobile pouch and we used to put the Zoom H1 in that and connect the audio separately to the videos afterwards. We would use the microphone and clip it on. The one problem that comes with either clipping a phone here or a microphone here is that when you are doing um, when you are shooting yoga videos, it's good for a video where I'm talking, that's okay, it's going to be in the same direction. But if I'm doing, let's say, neck rotation, here my voice is going to decrease and when I come closer to the mic, you can see the voice will be increasing. And the same happens when you're in downward dog pose or child's pose. So if you are particularly looking on shooting yoga videos, um, you can get a headset mount. I used the mount from uh, Rode. It was a bit expensive, but um, it's, it's very good. I got a Rode Levelier mic as well. I can put the Levelier mic on the mount and then I can connect it with this uh, Rode Wireless Go and I can connect this to the transmitter and to my phone. So an additional step is required if you are using the Rode mics along with your phone. So you need to get an iPhone connector and then you need to get a splitter cable which will help you connect. It's basically a TRRS to TRS um, conversion that you'll need. What I got was a two-way split so I can also monitor my audio without removing any of my setup. This is the setup I'm using right now. I have my phone on the mount over here in a ring light and I have the Apple iPhone connector. Along with the connector, I have a two-way uh, wire which is going from the connector down into the road 
wire that comes along with the wireless go and then into the transmitter and that transmitter is here so now i don't need to modify my audio and connect it to my phone separately it's automatically synced so i just have to edit my video post that if you're using a camera you don't need to buy this connection setup um, you can simply use it and if you don't have an iphone you're using any other phone you don't even need that iphone connector just a splitter cable would be enough a trrs to trs conversion because rode mic has trs if you are using the other connection the zoom h1 which is a recorder along with that if you're using the boya mic uh, if you're using that, that mic has an inbuilt switch. So you can just turn it on for a camera and uh, off otherwise. You can switch in between camera and phone without uh, doing any anything else. So that's, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe if you like our content. Thank you so much for joining us. May you stay fit and calm.